All right, today I'm going to show you how to uh, create an action. We're going to do a very simple action, uh, but you'll be able to, to gather from that the concept of how to apply it in other areas. To start with, we're going to go to Windows and go down to Action. You can also hit Alt F9 as well as the, the toolbar with the little arrow here. So we're going to create a new action. So I'm going to go to, uh, for some collapse this, go to my custom actions. You may not have that, but um, that is just for organization purposes. So let's go to new action. And I'm going to label this um, border for cruise. And I like to set function keys. In this case, I'm just going to set uh, F2. And this is F2 on your keyboard. So if you were to open up an image and hit F2, it's going to apply this action. And I'm going to say Shift F2. All right, so now we're ready to start recording an action. So everything we do from here on is going to be recorded into this action border for cruise. So I'm going to duplicate my layer, and I do that by hitting Control J, and it creates a new layer. I'm going to double click on that layer, and in order to create the border, I'm going to go to Inner Shadow, and we're going to have to turn it up quite a bit. I'm going to set distance to zero, I'm going to turn choke all the way up, and I'm going to turn size all the way up. So you see kind of the border being created there and uh, we'll just go with normal and a hundred percent so that gives us a nice clean black border around here so we hit OK we've got our border and uh, let's go ahead and put a label on it um, so I'll put a, a light label saying um, And we're going to put a label called Cruise to Mexico here. So now we've completed our, our task that we want to apply to other images. So we're going to hit Stop in our Actions palette up here. And so now it's stopped recording. So we see, if we drag this out so we can see a little bit better, that we've copied a layer, we've set the layer's style, and that was the background effect. We've made a text layer and we moved it into position. So let's see what happens now if we uh, go to a new image, hit Shift F2. It's created the border and it's tried to put the, the text into location. There may be some manual movement needed because we've used a vertical image here. Now let's try another horizontal image, Shift F2, and notice it came right into place. So you can apply this to both landscape and portrait images. You just have to make a minor adjustment in this case. Depending on what you're wanting to record as an action, uh, there may be manual steps involved or there may not be any manual step involved. If you're trying to do it to multiple files, um, you can actually have it process a whole folder uh, or a selection of files and we'll get into that in a later lesson.